have to try and put the microphone in a good place, otherwise you're going to hear <laughs> where it keeps hitting and doing this. I didn't do a video for a while, so we'll try and get it done nice and cleanly. Um, in this video, stop filming me. <laughs> She's bootlegging the video over there. <laughs> um, so, in this video, we're going to go over toe steps and the fun you can have running around your toes on the ice. But there's a few pointers we have to go over first to make sure we do it safely. So, first off, when we're practicing any kind of toe step for choreography or, or whatever we're doing with them, we have to make sure we do a few things. First off, if I'm going to go on my toe, I go on my toe, quite high up on my toe. If I go kind of on my toe, but not really on my toe like this, when doing any of these steps, there's a chance that I can do that and fall and hurt myself, okay? So that bottom toe pick, especially on some blades, they can slide like this. So if I'm doing a toe step, I'm doing a toe step, okay? Uh, second off, don't skate super fast into your toe steps. But whatever you do, if I'm skating like this and I go toe step, chances are what's gonna happen is my feet are gonna stop under me, my body's gonna go forwards and I'm gonna feel like Kissing the ice, and let me tell you, kissing the ice is not very fun. You kiss the ice with your nose or your teeth, you're not going to have a good time, right? You're going to have a bad time. So, that said, best way to start off when we're practicing toe steps, we have the simple ones like the side toe hop that you may have already done, but just getting used to standing on the toe pick, maybe moving a little bit on the toe pick. We can do it over by the barrier, even. Hold on to the barrier, one pick, two picks. Practice like this, just gently. We don't want to look like we're smashing the ice while right, practicing like this. Ice rink manager not gonna be happy with you, might ask you to leave the ice, right? So, just practicing gently, feeling those toes, okay? Now, when we've got used to that feeling, remember, up on the toe, not like this, when we've got used to that feeling, we can try a few different choreographic type of steps with the, with the, with the toes, right? So we can start with the side toe hop, side toe hop, step. We can do a three turn side toe hop step. This is quite a, a nice simple movement to try. Uh, not a bad one for beginners starting out. Let's try a different one. We can do, you can do backward crossovers. We can actually do backward crossover. Toe, toe, step, cross. Backward crossover. Toe, toe, step, cross. You have to move quite quick with your feet with this one for example because if you don't, as soon as you put the toe you stop moving. Whoa! Like this and you could fly over backwards, okay? So the second that toe goes in the ice, remember, I told you, you will stop, but your body will keep going, which is why we have to keep the toes going. So if you try this toe step, cross over, toe, toe, and cross. Should be quick. You can do it very quick even. We can even, doing this exercise, add a rotation to it to make it kind of cool for the choreography, where you do backward crossover, toe, 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 cross. Backward crossover, Toe, 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 cross. We can do it even quite quick. Cross, toe, toe, and cross. So this is another choreographic step we can use using the toe picks. And the final one I'm gonna show you today is going to be a step, toe, step exercise where you do step, toe, step, step, toe, step, step, toe step, step, toe step, step, toe step. And this, you can pick up more and more speed. You go as fast as your feet will allow you to do. Okay, if you're trying this one, you're trying to do it without swinging and swaying your body everywhere, you're trying to take, stay relatively straight down the ice like this. You see? And I can try, go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. I can't breathe. Anyway. Let's go over to the barrier before we get wiped out, Victor. We'll go and hide in the corner because we've got a busy session to deal with. Anyway, of course we can use our toe picks like this too, but you're gonna damage the ice. Nobody's gonna be your friend in the rink then, okay? So be careful with that. Anyway, look, these are just a few ways. I'm talking so fast, I'm not even breathing. I'm not thinking, I'm not breathing. Look, these are just a few ways we can use our toe steps on the ice and get comfortable using our toe steps. And uh, they can be very useful for choreography, okay? They can be nice uh, little touches to steps to, to make the audience watch and say, oh, oh, that was cool. It was just a, a little thing on the toe. And of course, these are just a few examples. There's many ways we can use it. If
if we do like hop, 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 and some choreography like this, I can spin on the toe. I can do many different things on the toe. These are just some examples of an introduction to using your toes. Anyway, if you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, uh, start off your question by saying that you like cake or you dislike cake. Either one's fine, or if you're too lazy to write the four letters of cake, you can just put the cake emoji, but I will know when you put the cake emoji that you watch the whole video, and I will answer your question, and whatever it might be. Even if you want to discuss cake, I'll share my opinion about cake with you as well, okay? But just cake, or some kind of, even if you don't like cake, you can do cake and like a, a face, a thumb down, just so you don't like cake, okay? So, if you want to do it like that, I'll know you watch the whole video, and I will answer your question. I'll make sure I answer the question, all right? so. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.